for our first main dish, Darnell and I are going to be making a roasted Cornish game hen with dauphinoise potatoes and sauteed asparagus with a mustard and shallot vinaigrette. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Darnell is going to be making the chicken. I'm going to be making the potatoes and the asparagus. Mm. We are going to start off with the dauphinoise potatoes. It's a very fancy name for cheesy scalloped potatoes. We're going to start off in a pan. We're going to have one cup of heavy cream and one cup of milk right into our little pot here. I'm going to season it with some salt, nutmeg. A little bit goes a long way. I have these potatoes. They're called Yukon Gold Potatoes. That's delicious. They have a really yellow interior, and they're kind of really creamy when they're cooked. And we're going to slice these potatoes. It's a push-pull. Notice, all of my slices are pretty much the same size. Size does matter. Now, right in the pot. I have this herb called thyme and I'm throwing it in my pot. Now I'm going to throw in two garlic cloves. What we're doing is called par cooking these or partially cooking them. So now we're gonna reduce the heat until I see all those bubbles subside, all right? I have two types of cheese. One is Fontina and the other is Gruyere. It's a delicious cheese. We're gonna take a pat of butter and we're just gonna really get the pan all buttered up. We're gonna scoop out about half the potatoes and we're just going to squish them into the bottom of this saute pan. Then we're gonna take our cheese, we're gonna give it a sprinkle and then we take the rest of the potatoes and we just fill them right up, right inside there. And then more cheese and into the oven she goes. All right. So the first thing that we're going to knock out is the rub that we're gonna do for the Cornish hens. And we're gonna toast our seeds off for about three minutes. Put my cumin's in there. And the fun thing about mustard seeds usually is that they, they'll usually pop. While those are toasting away, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this rub, get everything else inside this mortar and pestle. Got my black peppercorns going in there. This is like the, the world's first grinder. Push down and turn. We have dried cilantro, dried thyme, and dried parsley. We have onion powder right here. Got my smoked paprika with the cayenne. That is the smallest amount of ingredients mm. I'm using. Three cloves of garlic. We're going to mince the garlic. So we're just going to mix that around. And then I have my olive oil. Four tablespoons of olive oil going in. And you see this consistency now. One and a half tablespoons of salt. And it finishes bad boy off. All right, so the Cornish hen is a young female bird. Very young. So we're gonna use shears to cut this backbone out. That way we can fold the chicken over nicely. So we'll go up and down one side of it. Yeah, this makes you feel yeah. like a badass. Like, yeah. ah, get in there and crunch some bones. And this is called spatchcocking the bird. It's like a spinectomy. Just like this, you see this? So I'm just gonna have you press down on the bird to flatten it out. I have my brush. With this, I am rubbing this bird with both sides. Move the legs back. I want the seasoning everywhere. We are using a cast iron skillet. Putting my oil in there so let's see it start smoking. So I got that chicken down, flat. I'm gonna push that brick onto it now. I would do about three minutes on the stove top. Go ahead and pick your chicken up. And push it far back in the oven because that's where it's gonna be the hottest. All right, so we're gonna cook our Cornish hens and we're gonna temp it to 165 to know it's done. So, asparagus. We hold it like this and we snap it. Oh and it breaks. <laughs> if you're feeling advanced, you could do two at a time. <laughs> right? We are going to do the blanche and shock. Blanche and shock. Salted boiling water. The idea is it should be as salty as the ocean. So like, you know, when you go, so like not the dead sea, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm at a rolling boil here. Now I take all of my asparagus, commit to it. 
drop it in. So this works for broccoli, string beans, sugar snap peas. Set up your shocking water because these will not wait. It stops the cooking process instantly and it sets the beautiful green color. Once they're cold, you will take them out of the shocking water because we don't want to get them waterlogged. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my potatoes. Hello, beautiful. So we're gonna make a little vinaigrette. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard, the zest and juice of a lemon, right? Olive oil. Salt! Oh. Just shake it up. All right. Amazing. So we are gonna go ahead and temp this bird. <laughs> Smells good, Ooh, don't it? All right, down there. All right, we're at 180. We are good. I'm gonna go over to the leg, right by the bone. Yep, we're good, we're over 170. So we're gonna let that chicken rest for a little bit while I just finish up the asparagus. This is how we're going to cut a shallot. We're gonna cut the stem end off, slide my knife through and back. You take the tip of the knife, I'm gonna cut all the way to the back, but not through the back, and I'm slicing the whole thing. One time through the middle like that. There we go, and that's it. All my shallots are minced. All right, so I'm throwing my shallots into my pan. I'm gonna give those guys a little bit of salt. All right, now I'm gonna throw my asparagus in there, and I'm just going to toss this around just to coat my asparagus with the shallot oil and to heat up the asparagus. I'm gonna turn this off now and I'm gonna give it a drizzle of my vinaigrette. Mm. That's delicious. All right, to cut my potatoes, we dig deep, mm. we pull out a nice little pie. All right, a few pieces of asparagus. Right, then we're gonna take our hen. Yep, a portion is half of this bird. So we'll go right down the middle. There we go. And I'm just gonna lay it right on up against there. All right, there we go. Got a good taste. 